just left Play-Dohs. The Mafioso is back. Got the Converse uh, fast break. No easy buckets. I don't know what the history is with these, but it says June 6, 1984. I'm guessing this is like some Celtics, maybe Larry Bird thing. Yeah, I love shoes like this, man. It's like a knit shoe and usually not a lot of competition, obviously. I mean, who wears Converse that much other than All-Stars? Like Converse weapons, um, those go for some good money too. You hardly ever see those. So yeah, there's a lot of like knit shoes. I love picking stuff like that up. $25 uh, should be able to sell for at least $125, I think. So it should be at least a $100 profit on that. And I did see that those did retail for 200 so that is like a uh, limited upscale Converse release. What kind of Converse do you know that retail for $200? Probably like none. Thank you, Play-Dohs. They just brought this return in the double set and I got the box top I need some more shade I don't know man I'm worn out man they had no bags to like hold the stuff in, so you gotta like carry everything around, man. Come on, bro. Nobody got time for that. So I got six pairs of these Nike Tech Fleece. What's the actual name of these, man? They're like Nike Tech Fleece joggers. They got that uh big old zip up down the side. So these are normally $110. And they were $19 with discount, man. $19. So I grabbed six pairs. I'm probably going to regret not grabbing all of them. Because I've done this before. Back when I was in San Diego, they had these joggers with the little flames on the bottom. I'll put a pick up uh, if I could find it. Um, I think I bought like five or six pairs. They were like $15, man. And I should have bought them all. And like over the course of the year, I was selling them for like $75 each. And I was like, damn, I wish I had more. As soon as they ran out, I was like, damn, no more of those $75 sales. So uh, I'm probably gonna regret not buying all of these too. Um, these probably are gonna sell for something like that too, uh, 65 to $75. Uh, and I got six pairs of those. But anyway, man, I'm in here sweating, dude. I'm hot. Y'all need to go ahead and hit the like button again. I gotta keep asking because I can't get any play, man. YouTube shows me no love, man. And then that last damn video I just did about GOAT, nobody even watched that damn video. I made, I'm not playing guys. I literally made like $6 on that video. Six dollars, man. You know how long it took me to edit that thing? So I'm gonna need you guys to give me some likes so I can at least make three times that money and make $18 on this, all right? I need to make $18 because that way I can go and buy me a sandwich with some chips and a drink. Hook me up, man. I need, I need a sandwich, all right? I'm hungry. All right, so now what about those Converse I picked up? I'm sure that there's at least a couple of people watching that are like, those Converse are trash, bro. You're not gonna get anything for those Converse. They're garbage, but you know what? So I looked them up, so I guess this is what Kevin McHale uh, wore. And um, he did some kind of hard foul. And that's why they call it No Easy Buckets. Some kind of some kind of old school history, whatever. I'll probably list around 150. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think these will actually sell for 150 or if I'm crazy. So these Converse actually sold today for 150 plus shipping. Full asking price within one week. Within one week, what else could you ask for?
Thank you, Plato's. Got some LeBron 9 Dunk Man. I don't know why, man, but the market is really tanked on these. These used to be worth some decent money. But these got uh, some rips right here. And they're missing the insole. Real cheap though, 16, but there's good condition pairs sitting for like 70, so it's really not worth it. Jordan 5 Metallic 2016. Okay. Man, I might have to start calling this prestigious Marshalls. I mean, look at the architecture, the brickwork. The symmetry. All right, guys. So let me know your thoughts. You guys like the marksman better in suede or in leather? I mean, this leather is very supple. While we're at it, you guys let me know who made the better marksman, Nike or Adidas. I mean, the marksman is a classic silhouette that's often copied but never duplicated. But I think Adidas did a great job right here making their own version of the marksman they're probably really hard to tell apart on foot better marksman adidas or nike That was one of the few times I was praying that I didn't find anything, just so I wouldn't have to wait in that long ass, crazy ass line. I mean, who has an hour and a half to wait in a Marshalls line? And those people looked like they were cool with it too. I mean, they were just like, hey, you know, whatever. Let me just uh, go ahead and surf the gram, leave some comments, whatever. You know, they didn't have any problem with it. Not me. I don't wait in lines. No, the flipper doesn't wait in lines. No, to flip it checks out and leaves. We don't do lines here on this channel.